Becca, tell us what exactly the options that Evergrande has now to raise funds. Sure. So there are a number of different funding channels at Evergrande's disposal. Some of the more promising options include Hong Kong IPO. So Evergrande is planning to tap the stellar demand that we've seen for property management companies um, with a spin-off of its services business. And, and that, they won approval for that sale last week. Uh, that could raise between sort of one to two billion dollars. Um, Evergrande could also look to do a secondary stock sale in Hong Kong where it already trades. Um, and, and Evergrande will also be really counting on a surge in real estate. They'll definitely be hoping for more condo sales during China's Golden Week holidays, which of course starts uh, October 1st. Um, and it has already been offering deep discounts on, on those sales. And they could use that additional um, cash uh, to, to, to raise more uh, income. And they could also use it for its debt obligations and possibly to repay some of its strategic investors. Rebecca, that all sounds very positive for Evergrande. What are some of the constraints that this, might, this company might face? Sure. So timing is definitely one of the bigger challenges that Evergrande is facing. Strategic investors have the right to demand repayments for $19 billion, which they invested into the company three years ago, um, unless Evergrande is able to win a China listing by the end of January. And quite a number of analysts don't think that deadline is possible. In terms of other challenges, um, historically, this is a developer that has, has really heavily relied on its debt products as a key source of funding. So, of course, it's, it's the biggest issue of junk bonds in Asia's dollar bond market. Um, and it looks like some of these types of channels, these debt channels, may become tougher for Evergrande to access. There are signs Beijing is trying to curb um, develop, uh, debt sales from developers. And banks and trust firms have also turned a little bit more cautious on Evergrande recently, threatening to cut off some of its biggest sources of funding.